Good morning. Thanks for being here. Let's start in mountain pose. So check to make sure that your knees are over the ankles. Hips are over the knees and ankles. Shoulders are over the hips, knees and ankles. And your ears are over the shoulders, hips, knees and ankles. Roll the shoulders up. Let those shoulder blades rest on your back. Try to have your chin parallel to the floor. And then just notice how the body's feeling this morning. If there's any tightness or any tension anywhere. Don't try to do anything about it. Just become aware of where that tightness or tension is. And now slowly breathe into that area where the tension or the tightness may be. Breathe in as deeply as you can. Exhale nice and smooth. And inhaling. And exhaling. Think of your intention for today's practice. If you don't have one, you can use mine. Mine's going to the edge, but following the breath. So let's go, where can we go in our edge, to the edge in our, all of our asanas. Let's see what we do here, moving with the breath. Inhale the arms up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Now step to the top of the mat. We'll do a forward fold. So take your feet to the edge of the mat. Inhale the arms up. Fold over your hips as you exhale. Bring your hands opposite elbows. Relax the neck. Relax the shoulders. Just hang in them. Just start to swing the arms from one foot to the other. Going back and forth. Feeling that sensation. Make sure your neck's nice and soft. Swing back and forth. Again, see if you can go to the edge of the mat. Maybe you can go a little bit further to feel the sensations. Make sure you're able to breathe nice and smooth here. Now go ahead and release your hands to the mat and come into the table. As you come into the table, check your hand. Wrist underneath the shoulders, shoulder width apart, knees underneath the hips, hip width apart. We're inhale, do a kiss of cows. Squeeze those shoulder blades together, lift up, bring your sitting bones towards the sky. Exhale, round the spine, bring your chin towards the navel. Push your chest far away from the mat. Inhaling into cow. Exhaling back into your cat. Inhale into cow. Exhale into cat. Inhaling into cow. Exhaling into cat. Come into your neutral table and curl your toes, and you're barely going to lift your knees one inch off the mat. And now squeeze your abs, push your chest far away, have those knees only one inch off the mat. Really squeeze those abs, keep breathing here. And now exhale all the way up into your downward dog, pump out the feet, do what feels right. Keep breathing nice and smooth. Now pick up the right foot, reach it as high as you can. Maybe that left heel is coming down to the mat, maybe it's not. Feel equal pressure in the finger pads, the knuckle pads, the thumb pads. Keep raising that right leg up. And now look at your right thumb, step your right foot to the right thumb, left knee comes down to the mat. Inhale your arms up. Keep reaching. Take the palms away from each other, circle towards the top of the mat and the lift from the lower rib cage. Feel the expansion. Breathe into it. Now as you exhale, look down at the mat. Bring your fingertips in line with the tip of the toes. Pivot on your right heel, toes to two o'clock. Inhale, your right arm up. Press into that right heel. Keep breathing nice and smooth here. Now look down, bring the right hand inside your right foot. Press into that right foot, press into your right hand. Inhale your left arm up. Breathing nice and smooth. Now go ahead and bring your hands down. Curl your back toe, lift your back knee, step back into downward dog. 
and breathe. Pick your left leg up, reach it as high as you can. Maybe that right heel is coming down to the mat, maybe it's not. Keep pressing into the mat with the finger pads, the knuckle pads, and the thumb pads. And now look at that, your left thumb, step the left foot to the left thumb, right knee comes down to the mat. And tell the arms up. Keep scissoring the legs together. Take the palms away from each other, circle towards the top of the mat, lift to the lower rib cage. Celebrate that expansion that you feel going to the edge. And now look down at the mat, bring your hands down to the mat, fingertips are in line with the tips of the toes, pivot on the left heel to kind of clock with the toes, inhale the left arm up. Breathing nice and smooth. And now look down at your left foot, bring your left hand inside the left foot, press into the left foot, press into your left hand, inhale the right arm up. Step back into the downward dog and breathe. And now pick up your right foot, bend your knee, open up the hips to the right, three legged dog. Make sure you're pressing evenly into both hands, not collapsing to one arm or the other. Now straighten your right leg, step up to the right thumb, left knee comes down to the mat. Inhale the arm up. Bring your right hand to the right thigh, press the thigh across the center of the body, reach the left tricep across the thigh, bring your hands into prayer, look over your back shoulder. Step back into the downward dog. Breathe here. Let your sitting bones up as high as you can. Maybe touch, have the belly touch the thighs. Pick up your left leg. Bend the knee. Open up your hips to the left. Three-legged dog. And now straighten that left leg. Step it to the left thumb. Right knee comes down to the mat. Inhale the arms up. Left hand comes to the left thigh, pressing the left thigh across the center of the body. You reach the right tricep across the thigh, bringing your hands to prayer. Look over the back shoulder. Look down at the mat, bring your hands down to the mat. Step back into the downward dog. Pick up the left foot. Thread it underneath the belly, pivot your back foot down, come into your rock sock. If you want more, pick up the left leg. And now pivot all the way back into your three-legged dog. And now step the left foot to outside the left hand. The right knee can come down if you want, or you can stay in the lizard here. Bring blocks if you have blocks, if not, bring your forearms to the mat. So option your back leg, back knee can come down if you like, or you can keep it up. And then breathe into this, opening up our hips, going to the edge. Now if you want more, bring the hand to the knee, push the knee outside the ankle, and if you want more, roll onto the ankle. Breathe nice and smooth. Go ahead and bring the hands underneath the chest, step back into your downward dog. Pick up your right leg, thread it underneath the belly, pivot the back foot down, come into your rock star. And if you want more, pick up the right foot. Breathe nice and smooth. And now pivot all the way back into your three-legged dog. Step that right foot outside the right hand. 
The left knee can come down if you want. Bring your forearms to the mat or to the blocks. And then breathe. Going to the edge. If you want more, take your hand to the knee, push the knee away from your hip over your ankle, and roll onto the ankle. Now bring your hands underneath, step back into your downward dog. Bring your knees as wide as the mat, big toes. Press into child pose. Take an assessment of how the body is reacting to your practice. Breathe in nice and smooth. And now inhale up. Coming back into your downward dog. Pick up the right foot, step it to the right thumb. Step the back foot forward. Inhale halfway up. Hook the big toes. Lift your sitting bones up. Do an internal rotation with your thighs. And then pull up, keep tension on the toes as you fold a little deeper. Relax the neck. Breathe nice and smooth. And now slowly release the toes, bend the knees. Inhale the arms up and to the side above the head. Palms come together. Look at the thumbs if there's no tension in your neck. And then exhale the hands down. All right, we do a classic eight sun, sun salutation. Inhale the arms up. Swan dive down. Uttanasana. Inhale halfway up, part of Uttanasana. Release the hands, step back into your plank as you exhale. Inhale into your upward dog. Exhale back to downward dog and breathe. Two more deep breaths here. Now pick up the left foot, step it forward, bring your right foot to the left foot, inhale halfway up, exhale fold, bend the knees, press the feet on the mat, inhale all the way up, exhale down. Now classic beast also, sun salutation. Inhale the arms up, take your hips back as far as they go, and then bend the knees coming into your chair, Uttanasana. Now as you exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway up, gently looking forward. As you exhale, release your hands to the mat, step back into the plank, floating into your chaturanga. Inhale, into upward dog. Exhale, back, pick up the right foot, step to the right thumb, tilt your back foot down. Inhale to Virabhadrasana A, warrior one. Cartwheel back down, stepping back into the plank. Inhale into your Upward dog. Exhale back. Pick up the left foot. Step it to the left thumb. Tilt your back foot down. Inhale up. Warrior one. As you exhale, cartwheel back down. Stepping back into the plank, floating into your chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale back to downward dog. And breathe. And now either walk or hop or step to the top of the mat. When you get there, inhale halfway. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees. Inhale back into your chair. Uttatasana. Press the heels away from one another as you're pressing the heels into the mat. And now inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale halfway up. Release your hands to the mat. Step back into downward dog. Pick up your right foot. Step up between your hands. Pivot your back foot down. Cartwheel your arms up into warrior two. Right palm comes up. Left hand down the back leg into a reverse warrior. Come back into warrior two. Exhale, lightly touch the elbow to the thigh. Align your hips and your shoulders. Sweep your left arm in front of the chest as you bring the bicep up by your left ear. Press into your back foot. Keep reaching, keep pressing. Inhale back up. Into your warrior two, left 
chin behind the back, right palm up, come into the reverse warrior. Come back up, let's you into your warrior two, straighten your right leg, take your hips back, keep reaching, reaching, come into your Trikonasana triangle, and breathe. Notice where your wrist is, your gaze. Is it up at the ceiling, up at your left thumb, or down at the floor, towards your feet? Breathe it in here nice and smooth. And now bend your knee, bring your hands down to the mat. Walk your back foot over to the edge, heel to your front foot. Come back into your lizard. Forearms back on the mat or on your blocks. Now bring the hands underneath the chest, step back into your downward dog. And now pick up the left leg, step it between your hands, pivot your back foot down, cartwheel up into warrior two. Left palm up, right hand down as you exhale into the reverse warrior. Cartwheel back into your warrior two. As you exhale, lightly touch the elbow to the thigh, line your hips and your shoulders, press into the outside of your back foot, sweep your right arm up and over from your chest, and reach. Down, bend the knee, bring your hands down to the mat, take your right foot to the edge of the mat, heel to your front foot, bring your forearms to the mat or to blocks, and back into the lizard. Now go ahead and step back down, hands underneath the chest, step back into your, in your downward dog, and breathe. Now look at the top of the mat, either hop to the top of the mat or step. When you get there, inhale halfway up, exhale fold, and then bend the knees, inhale all the way up, engage the belly and the thigh, exhale down. All right, if you have blocks, grab your blocks. If you don't have blocks, you can do the same thing, just put your hands on my hips or on your shins. Inhale, your left arm up. Step your left leg back, fold forward, reach across the block by your right foot, take it on the in outside or on the inside, whatever feels right for you. Place the hand there, press into both feet. Take your right hip back, keep your back nice and flat, and then inhale your right arm up. to the hips, press into both feet as you inhale up, step to the top of the mat. Now bring your right leg back, inhale your right arm up, fold forward, reaching for the block, bringing it to the outside or the inside, whatever feels right for you today. Now take your left hip back, flatten your back, press into both feet, when you're ready, inhale that left arm up. Triangle. Keep breathing nice. 
nice and smooth here. Now bring your left hand to the hip, bring your right hand to the hip. Left hand comes down to the block and then inhale your right arm up. Really press into both feet here. Now look down at the mat, bring both hands to the mat, or to the hips, and press into the feet as you inhale up. Set to the top of the mat. Take your left leg back, one leg distance back. Have your hand behind your back, interlace. Roll those shoulders up, squeeze those shoulder blades together, fold forward so your belly comes to the thigh, chest to the knees, forehead towards the chin. And breathe, bring your arms as far away from the body. Now bring your hands in to your hips, press into both feet as you inhale up. Then you come all the way up, step to the top of the mat. Now take your right leg back, one leg distance apart. Hands come back behind your hands. Hips again, interlacing the fingers. Fold forward, bring the belly to the thigh, chest to the knees, forehead towards the shin. Arms as far away from the body as possible. Now bring the hands to the hips, press into both feet as you inhale up. Step to the top of the mat. Bring your left foot back about 12 to 18 inches. Decide what you want to do with your hands. You can have reverse prayer hands. You can have the hands opposite elbows. Or you can interlace the fingers like we just did. Roll the shoulders up. And now fold forward. Belly coming to the thigh. Chest to the knees. Forehead towards the shin. And breathe. into the mat, coming up all the way. Step to the top of the mat, right leg comes back 12 to 18 inches. Roll those shoulders up. Now as you exhale, fold forward, belly to the thigh, chest to the knees, forehead towards the shin. And breathe. Keep breathing nice and smooth here. off the mat from there. Heel to the feet so the ankles are outside. Bring your hands to prayer as we squat down. Make sure your knees are going to second and are tracking over the second and third toe. Heels are allowed to come up but try to keep the feet flat on the floor. Now bring the triceps on the inner thighs and then open up the hips a little bit more. Sit nice and tall. Now bring your hands down to the mat. Step back into your plank. Look down into the mat, bringing your whole body down to the mat at the same time. Hands beside the ribs, squeeze those elbows towards each other, roll the shoulders up, touch your pelvic end to the floor, and lift your collarbone up off the mat. Now bring your forehead back down to the mat. If you need to release the tension, just wiggle your hips. Now press the top of the feet into the mat. Notice your knees came up. Press your pelvic area into the floor. Roll the shoulders up. Lift the collarbone. Lift the feet up. Bring your hands up off the mat. Keep breathing here nice and smooth here. And now lower back down. Once you lower back down, roll over onto, the, onto your back. We'll do some bridges. Have your feet on the mat, hip width apart, elbows by the ribs. Press your sacrum into the mat, feel that little bit of a back bend you get. Press your elbows into the mat, notice you get a little deeper back bend. Press your heels into the mat and lift your hips. So keep pressing your elbows in, keep pressing your heels in, tighten your glutes as tight as you can. 
Keep your glutes nice and tight. Keep pressing the heels in, keep pressing your elbows in. Now bring your chin towards your sternum and now press into the back of your head, back of the skull. Breathe nice and smooth here. Keep pressing the elbows in, press your heels in, tighten your glutes. Now go ahead and lower your hips all the way down to the mat. And then bring your knees into the chest. We'll rock from side to side. And now, if you have a strap, put a strap on the ball of your foot. If not, grab a big toe or grab your ankle. Straighten your left leg. Handcuff to the thigh. Do an external rotation with your ankle. Float it out to the side. And breathe. Now inhale back up. Now bring your left hand to the foot or, your, or to the strap. And just take your right foot outside your left hip. Bring your right arm up to T. Now drive your heel away. You're going to feel it all into the T bands. Keep breathing there. Now go ahead and float onto the left side of your body. Drive your heel away from your hip. Look down with your right hand. Keep breathing here nice and smooth. And now come back. A little more. Take that strap behind your back. Try to bring the heel to the buttocks. And then go ahead and roll onto your back, bring your knees into your chest, switch the strap, or take your right leg long, hook your big toe, or grab your ankle or your shin. Press your right hand to your right thigh, both feet are dorsiflexed. Breathing nice and smooth here. Now do an external rotation, walk the leg out. Keep driving your heel, but keep the external rotation in the hip and in the ankle. back up. Bring your hand to the strap or to the outside of your left foot. Bring your left arm to T. Take your left foot just outside your right hip. Now drive that heel away so that you can feel it into your T bands there. And now go ahead and float onto the right side of your body. Look down the left arm with your eyes. Drive your heel away from your body. And then when you're ready, bring the strap. Float onto the right side of your body. Try to bring that heel towards your buttocks. Breathe nice and smooth here. And now go ahead and roll onto your back. Bring your knees in. Rock the knees back and forth, side to side. Cross the ankles, come up into a sitting position. Wrap your right leg up, ankle over. Shins are parallel to the floor. You can hang on to your hamstrings if you like, or bring your palms up and breathe. Unwrap. Do the other side, left leg over, squeeze the outside of your feet together, bring the inner thighs together and squeeze those. Now go ahead and lower down, unwrap, hover, two inches off the mat with your heels, your shoulders, breathe here nice and smooth. Now go ahead and bring the bottom of your feet together, let your knees go apart, let your body get acclimated. Now we're getting ready for Shavasana. Straighten your legs. You can stay here as long as you can. Thank you for joining us today. Looking forward to practicing with us all together soon. I give you my peace and honor. Namaste.